shelter, barring a tie, somebody's win streak must unravel and sink to the good earth this afternoon while a single victory record continues to soar. The Stairs from Texas are shooting for consecutive victory number 19 this afternoon while the Razorback Street consecutive win number 16. The last time Arkansas tasted the bitterness of defeat was October 19, 1968 in Austin, Texas when this same Texas team won a scoring lead 39-29. In just a few minutes, it'll be time for the kickoff. Just time to remind you that this is Humboldt's 36th year of Southwest Conference sponsorship. We hope you enjoy the games as much as we enjoy bringing them to you. We pause now for station identification. Welcome back to the sights and sound and the thrill-packed energy of Razorback Stadium here in... The Ozarks of Arkansas, it's Texas and Arkansas, King Ben Supreme battling next to night, eyeball to eyeball for Southwest Conference Championship. The game captains for Arkansas today, all of the seniors, and they'll all be at midfield for the coin toss just a few moments from now. Representing the seniors as game captains are fullback Bruce Maxwell, center Rodney Brand, linebacker Lynn Garner, and safety Dennis Burner. The tri captains for Texas, quarterback James Fleet, halfback Ted Coy, and linebacker Glenn Halsell. Texas last outing was on Thanksgiving Day, a 49-12 victory over Texas A&M. Arkansas also played last on Thanksgiving Day in the Arkansas capital city of Little Rock, and it was a Razorback feast, 33-0 over Texas Tech. Today is the day they break the wishbone. The feasting is over. The team that comes up with the big end of the bone can make a wish for all kinds of Christmas and New Year goodies. And the wish just might come true for today's victorious gladiators. The setting is complete. Texas and Arkansas bands and yell leaders. A packed stadium of Longhorn and Razorback faithful. Bevo the ninth, the Texas Longhorn steer mascot. Big Red number one, the real live and staged Arkansas Razorback Hawks. The Arkansas mascot. And as we said, Arkansas players are wearing white pants, scarlet red jerseys and helmets, and scarlet socks today. The Longhorns are all white. White jerseys, white pants, white helmets with orange trim. The football teams are back on field, Texas and Arkansas. The game of this centennial year of the college football is about to begin. 45,000 screaming fans, including the nation's president, other dignitaries are ready. The scene is Razorback Stadium, Selfish Factory, a hamburger stand. We'll see as the game progresses as we see the president's helicopter coming in for a landing south of the stadium. Here to describe all the great red action today, Connie Alexander. Good afternoon, everybody, everywhere on our regular Humble Football Network and today the servicemen around the world and also to our special civilian network in Alaska. We're only seconds away from the dream game that has captured the imagination of our nation, including its president, who is arriving today by helicopter at the south end of the gridiron. Numerous other notables are here. This is the battle for the conference championship, for the right to host Notre Dame in the Cotton Bowl, and probably for the national championship. Arkansas has won the toss. Arkansas will kick and defend the North goal to our left. The wind is to their back, about five miles per hour. It's almost negligible. Steel gray skies, threatening rain, and a Niagara of cheers is pouring down, cascading upon this field. An overflow assembly, a hundred years of collegiate football, has boiled down now to the moment of truth as Arkansas prepares to kick off. And can you imagine the tension within those 22 lads on that field? Wherever you are, in the Eastern Hemisphere, the Western Hemisphere, around the world today, we're happy to have you with us, and we hope that we can capture for you the great tension and the great thrill that it is to be here for number one and number two. McCard is ready to kick fire, and Marlowson standing at the goal line as the President of the United States arrives. In the kickoff, long and deep, a tremendous kick, 74 yards beyond the end zone. It'll be a touchback, and Texas will operate from its own body after the touchback. The helicopter carrying the president has landed to the south of the gridiron. It's approximately 75 yards away. He has just departing from the helicopter, and Texas is ready to go first down and 10 on its own 20 for the first play from scrimmage. They have the line. Arkansas in a 4-4-2-1 defense. Texas in its famous Y, a wishbone team of the left end split. Street has the set. Street gives it on a counter play, and Coy, a runner off. 
Hiddleston goes over left guard to the 21, and he is smashed by Rick Kilkey after a gain of a yard. And he's second down in nine for Texas. Hiddleston, who came into the game third in conference rushing with 711 yards, the leading rusher for Texas, gained one on the first down. Second down, nine to go for Texas at the Texas 21-yard line. To the line of scrimmage against the 4-4-2-1 defense. The right end is good for Texas, the left end side at the wide backfield. There is a fumble at the 23-yard line, away from the ball, Arkansas recovers! Arkansas recovers at the Texas 22. There was a fumble on the handoff. It looked like a malfunction at the junction between Street and Wooster. Something was out of focus, and Bobby Field, an Ulster man for Arkansas, recovers at the Texas 22 for the first big break of the afternoon. Now Arkansas first to 10 to go at the Texas 22. Over the ball is the center, all American Rock ran. Frank and White left in split, two running backs. Split six defense for Texas. Montgomery goes left, passes. Incomplete into the left flat on a play action pass and sent it to the full, fullback Maxwell, who went off left tackle, angled out into the left hook zone. He was covered by Mike Kendall. That stops the clock with 14 21 gone. Uh, 14 21 to go in the all quarter. It's a scoreless time. Second down and 10, Arkansas operating at the Texas 22 after recovering a Texas fumble. Through the line of scrimmage they come. Texas setting up a four-man front, now moving its linebackers in their sight. Flank and right, split left in, two running backs for Arkansas. Montgomery, the quarterback, drops back in the cup, jumps to the left side, looking for Dreyfus out of his reach at the 10-yard line. Scott Henderson was applying a rush on Montgomery, and he didn't exactly have time to eat lunch then. It'll be third down and 10 to go. Arkansas off the Texas 22 yard line. The ball about 25 yards from the near side of the quadrangle. 44 seconds elapsed, no score. Arkansas coming to the line of scrimmage. Rod Bland, 226 pounds, center in the passing position. It's a 4 4 2 1 defense. Tight right in. Slot formation to the left side. Two speed backs to the left. Montgomery spinning left. Going toward the end zone, looking for Reese. Reese makes the catch inbound to the two yard line and goes out of bounds. Reese caught it just as they're going out of bounds. And the trick was two. A beautiful strike from Montgomery to Sam Reese in Arkansas. And Arkansas is on the Texas Cup court. First and goal to go with only 50 seconds of the first quarter left. First down goal to go. Arkansas is huddling. Texas digging in now. Texas hanging by a thread. First and goal for Arkansas. High formation. Flanker, 15 yards to the right side of the right end. And Montgomery calls for the timeout. Montgomery, the Arkansas quarterback, calls the timeout as the crowd noise was so loud that he feared that his teammates could not hear him. John Reese has gone out and has been replaced by Bobby Nichols, who has a 200 4 pounder. When Arkansas gets inside the 10, they usually beef up their offense with heavier lads. Rick Nader's in replacing Steinmark of a Texas defense. High formation, flanker, wide, wide to the right side. It's a power eye. Burnett knocks it left guard, time for the touchdown and gets to about the one foot line. Bill Burnett, the top runner in the Southwest Conference with 818 yards. A man who has scored 19 touchdowns this year, took it to the limit of the cup, is placed on the one-yard line, with Scott Henderson hitting first, and Danny Lester came up to finalize the tackle. Second down, goal to go, Arkansas, the Texas one at the far has mark, to the line of scrimmage they come. Texas in searching with about a 6-5 defense, Arkansas in a power eye, with a flanker wide to the right side. But Goddard gives it to the end, he springboards, he sails, he scores, he scores for Arkansas! And that scores as he dives over left tackle, and Arkansas leads six to nothing. It's Arkansas six. Texas nothing. The try for points to come as Arkansas scores with a minute 27 seconds gone, hardly before the president of the United States has had a chance to get into the stadium. McGuire will kick. Rucker will hold. McGuire is 38 out of 42 this year. It's on the way. It's protection, and Arkansas leads seven to nothing. And here is Sam McKenzie. Matt Drive taking only five plays, Sonny, moving 22 yards after Arkansas picked up the Texas fumble. Well, Stan, I don't know how I could be so lucky, but we have Barbara Speck here, the Centennial Queen. Barbara, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. 
Thank you. It's great to be here. It's an exciting game. How many miles have you traveled since you've been to Queens? I couldn't estimate that, I'm afraid. You've been traveling uh, just about every weekend in some game somewhere, haven't you? Almost every weekend, and from the East Coast to the West Coast. Well, you still look beautiful as always. Well, thank you. Now, would you like to make a prediction about the outcome? No predictions, just lots of excited fans. There's going to be some exhausted fans after the game because everyone's living every play. Oh, they really are. There come the Longhorns. I guess we better get ready to go back to work. Thank yes, you, sir. Barbara. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay, Sam. Well, actually, this great sports spectacle, as we said, started early in the week, and it still remains to be seen today. And two quarters of action, which has the greater N.A. power, the immovable object, or the irresistible force. Arkansas with the nation's best defense against scoring, Texas with its greatest scoring machine of all time. Arkansas with a pension for the forward pass as a passport to touchdown riches. And with the league's top rusher in Bill Burnett, Texas with the nation's best rushing record. And like Arkansas, mighty stingy in the yielding of real estate. In a nutshell, both teams with great offensive and defensive credentials and both undefeated. Arkansas tees up the ball. We're ready for football action again. And here once again to describe the action, Tommy Alexander. Texas will be receiving. They get to exercise the option here in the second half, and they want the ball. They gotta have it. They're down seven or nothing. We have 30 minutes to go. Fasten your seatbelts. McClard ready to kick with the wind, about eight miles per hour. Kicking to the north 40. The advance. Leather meets leather. It's a smile. Going out of bounds. Down around the 13-yard line of Texas. So Texas will probably take the five-yard penalty on a new kick at the Arkansas 35. President Nixon is in the press box in the second half. And we just heard him talk to Mrs. Frank Royals and two of their daughters. And we overheard him say to the little Royals girls who are about 10 or 12 years old, the president said, you're kind of enjoying yourself. You kind of like the score right now, don't you? As Arkansas leads seven to nothing. The second half is not officially started. We had a kickoff, but the clock doesn't start until the ball is legally touched. That's the five-yard penalty for the ball going out of bounds. Arkansas will kick again from the 35-yard line of Arkansas. A Texas fan in the background. 45,000 spectators electrify the air of the Ozarks. Here's the kick. This one sails John Steele landing on the 12. And it skips out of bounds on the 1, the 2-yard line. McLeod kicking off a sophomore from Norman, Oklahoma. So we've had two plays in the second half, and the clock has not yet started. How about that for an oddity? This gives us time now, as Arkansas will be penalized back to the 30 for the next kickoff. This gives us time to review briefly the statistics. First half in the first down category, Texas 8, Arkansas 7. In rushing, Texas 104, Arkansas 50. In passing, Texas 20, Arkansas 73. So check the total offense. Texas, 124 yards. Arkansas, 123 yards. Montgomery hit four of seven. Street hit one of four and had one intercepted. Texas lost a fumble in the turnover category. Texas lost two. Arkansas lost none. Wooster ran 16 times for 58 yards. Burnett ran 10 for 40. We're about ready for another kickoff at the north 30 to our left. Texas receiving at the south goal to our right. Bertelson and Spire. Now this kick is going towards fire. He's got it on the line. Up the middle of the 10. 15, 20, 25. Angles left 30. Takes the tackle to 33. To the 35. Giving ground to the 33. Over the 35. Fumbles at the 36. Arkansas recovers at the Texas 37-yard line. Arkansas recovers. Steve Birdwell hit him and lost, uh, dislodged the ball. Birdwell dislodged the ball from the arms of Clinton Spire, who made a great run back. And the fumble is recovered at the Texas 37. Now, Arkansas recovered a Texas fumble in the first minute of the game and punched it into a touchdown. Now they've got it in the opening seconds of the third quarter. First and 10 on the Texas 37-yard line. Levin of Arkansas recovered the fumble. First and 10. Split left in. Flanker right. Two setbacks. Split 60 fifths. So it's a 5-3 for Texas. Three linebackers. Montgomery takes the handoff. Just left. Incomplete. Looking for Dykus at the 29. Dykus on a down and out to the left. Only 17 seconds of the third quarter have expired. Arkansas leads 7 to nothing. The Arkansas backfield, Montgomery, Burnett, Maxwell, and Dykus. They have Reed playing at the end, put in. Dykus is playing back at a slot back. Texas front four, a Texas sled, White, and Arley. 
American center for Arkansas. Up and over the ball. Slot to the right. Reese put in. Dykus is slotted to the right. Montgomery stands in the cup. He takes the pass. Dykus the tackle. To the 45, the 40, the 35. Hit from behind. Horse collars to the ground of the 31-yard line of the University of Texas. That's Steinbach and Scott Henderson are the two lads responsible for stopping it. John Reese with a good downfield block. Reese went downfield to be a receiver. Then he came back for a field back block. And one of the games of the century. And a Texas lad is taken up. Carl White. There is a call timeout on the field with a score. Arkansas 7, Texas nothing. from Razorback Stadium. Here again, Tommy Alexander. Carl White, defensive tackle for Texas, is out of the game now, favoring his left knee as he was assisted off the field. He is replaced by Scott Palmer, a 230-pound junior at defensive tackle from Houston Westbury. The snap to Montgomery. He crawfishes to pass. He has protection. He throws back and open on the 11. He's got it to the 10. Goodbye. Over for a touchdown for Arkansas. Hits Dykus of Arkansas on the 11-yard line. He goes in, standing up. It's 13 to nothing. And Montgomery, the passer, was hit in the right rib cage. And he walks off the field, but he is holding his right rib section. Montgomery, the passer. We'll have the tie for next to point now. Third quarter, Arkansas 13, Texas nothing. Bill McCard. 5 for 11, and NCAA scoring by kicking. will try the extra point. Here's the kick. It's on the way. It looks good. It's pure, and the score. Arkansas 14, and Texas nothing. Well, Stan, you remember back on October 11th, the University of Texas, the number one team in the nation, was down 14 to nothing to Oklahoma. They came from behind. Can they do it now? Now, Bill McClard will kick off for the University of Arkansas at the North 40 under Leaden Sky on the Arkansas campus. Arkansas leading 14 to nothing. Fire and Bertel to our deep. The advance by McClard. End over the end, bouncing on the 17. To fire at the 3, up the middle to 5, 10, 15. Angles left to 20, out to the 25. Caught around the right, hit by one tackler and sandwiched by another at the 28-yard line of Texas. Fire on the run back, bracketed by two lads from the Arkansas kickoff unit. David Hogue is the first man to make the team. Our spotters this afternoon, Bobby Arnold of Texas, Bill Lavender of Arkansas, doing a tremendous job. Fire is pushed off to the right, eight yards off the tackle. Wide backfield, 6 2 2 on Arkansas defense. The ball is given to Coy. Coy slants to the left side. He is swarmed at the 30 yard line of Arkansas and carried across the near sideline by four Arkansans. Lynn Garner was the first man to horse collar him, bear hug him, and they rode him over the near sideline. And the ball is being brought in at the 31 yard line of Texas. It's going to be second down and eight to go as the ball was placed out officially after the kickoff at the 29 of Texas. It's second and eight now for Texas at their 31. Randy Stout comes in and places Bobby Mitchell at left guard for Texas, 250 pounds. Four-man front, two linebackers moving up on the line, one linebacker, four deep umbrella, parabolic secondary, three passing right, looking for Spire. Spire at midfield, makes the catch at the far sideline. A miraculous catch by Cotton Spire over his right shoulder with Dennis Bernard covering, like, covering him like the dew. The ball at the 50-yard line, first and 10 for Texas. James Street hitting Cotton Spire. Spire caught one in the first half, Dykes caught three. Okay, at first and ten for Texas at the midfield strike. Six two two one Arkansas defense. It's Bertelson with the ball, struggling into Arkansas territory to about the 49 yard line. Hit down by Roger Harding to stop the ball from Little Rock. Second down, nine to go for Texas in the Arkansas 49. Gordon McNulty makes his first appearance of the day in place of Rick Kersey. McNulty regularly a starter, but he's been bothered by a knee injury. Kersey was taken up. 
second down nine. Clip left in, snap to street, quarterback, fake handoff. He's looking left, looking for Spire. He's going for Spire. And it is intercepted by Burner on the 24-yard line of Arkansas. Burner makes the interception. The senior from Little Rock gets the ball for the Razorback. As Street threw for Spire, they had double coverage on Cotton Spire. And running in front of Spire for the interception was Dennis Burner. Arkansas takes over on its own 24, first and 10 to go. Now we have uh, a brief delay downfield. Let's see, no, there's not a timeout. Arkansas coming to the line of scrimmage. Montgomery is back in there at quarterback. He was favoring his ribs after throwing the touchdown pass, but he's in. He takes the handoff. He throws the tackle left flat on the 24, the 25, the 30, the 35. Runs into a shoulder for 37. Carries the tackle to the 38-yard line of Arkansas. That'll be a first down. Danny Lester, the fastest defender in the Texas defense, made the tackle. A junior from Amarillo, Tascosa. The ball on the 38-yard line. Razorback territory. First and 10 to go for the Hogs. The Hogs talk this afternoon are Cardinal jerseys, Cardinal helmets, Cardinal socks, and white trousers. Texas in white with orange trim. First and 10, Arkansas at its 38. Arkansas leads 14 to zip. Montgomery sprints out to the right behind two blockers. He's on a run pass off. Can he run? He stiff arms to Tessus, but uh, coming up is Mike Campbell. A Tessus got a piece of him, and falling at the 40 is Montgomery. A Tessus trailed Montgomery. A Tessus 6'3", 257. He got a, a little piece of him, got him by the arm, pulled him down. Campbell, Mike Campbell, one of the twins on the Texas team, came along to help. They ruled the ball down on the Arkansas 40. It is second down, coming in. Eight to go for the University of Arkansas. Texas is one, two, three, four, five. Four men up front. Now four linebackers, one of them up on the line. Three deep secondary. Flanker left, split right in. Two running backs behind the tackle. Draw play to Maxwell, and he is nabbed at the 40 and lunges to his own 41. Trying to go under, Scott Halsell and, and uh, Bill Atessis, and Halsell was the man who nailed it. Maxwell on the carry, third and seven. Down seven to go for Arkansas. As it maneuvers from its own 41 yard line, Arkansas sets the slot to the wide side. That's to the left. It's a 4 4 2 1. It's a 4 5 2 defense. Montgomery runs off to left. Pitches for left. Squeezing behind the block. Over the 40, 45, the 50. Uh, loses his balance, but regains it at the Texas 45. Then it's caught at the Texas 41 and dropped by Greg Platt of Texas. At the Texas 41, the tackle is made. Bruce Maxwell with a good block. Bill Burnett on the carry, the power sweep to the left. Greg Clint was the man who hit the ball carrier first, and then Fred Steinmark sinks the tackle on the Longhorn 41. First and 10 to go for Arkansas. Arkansas leading 14 to nothing. Texas with a winning string of 18. Arkansas undefeated in 15 games. The last time it lost was against Texas last year. To the line of scrimmage now. Brand of Arkansas over the ball. Reese, no, Dykus splits it right in. Reese flanked to the left. The pass is back at the far sideline. Two setbacks. A flag. Just before the snap, Montgomery takes it, but the play does not get off. It's going to be five yards against Arkansas. Delay of game. They took more than the prescribed 25 seconds to snap the ball. And Montgomery was communicating with a couple of his backs who did not seem to be lined up where he wanted them. By the time they got set, the 25 seconds were gone. The penalty will be first and 15. Arkansas operating in the Texas 46. Third period, Arkansas on top, 14 to Gutek. Flanker left, slipped right in, two steps back. Montgomery yelling the signal. He has the set. He gives to Burnett. Burnett filters through at right guard to the 41-yard line of Texas. Glenn Halsell and Scott Henderson, the two linebackers, are the lads to uh, accomplish the splash down. Ronnie Hammers and Rob Grant opened the way, and Bill Burnett, nice through. 189-pound running back who leads the Southwest Conference, came into this game with 818 yards. He had 40 in the first half. That would give him 858. Up through the first half, he ran 859 yards last year. Flanker to the left, split right in. Second down for Arkansas, about eight or nine to go. And there goes... Uh, 
Back ball. Check it for net with the ball. Right up the main stream to about the 37 yard line. Greg Clett, the fine arts major from Sherman, is the lad who thinks it. Now let's see where they've got the ball. It's just inches outside the Texas 37. It's going to be third down and six to go. Third and six to go for Arkansas. The Texas 37 also goes out, replaced by David Richardson at Texas lineback. Four man front, four linebackers, three deep secondary, rotated toward the Arkansas slot, which is to the right. Montgomery sprints out to the right, has good protection, lots of time. Dodges a tackler, but that tackler has him nailed at the Texas 43, and that's Bill Apestas. Cool and calm Bill Montgomery, just as cool as an igloo, kept looking for those receivers. They tackle him for the loss. It's going to be fourth down. The ball is brought in on the Texas 42. Fourth down, 11 yards to go for the Razorbacks. Gary Suckle, their putter is in. 6'5", 225 pounds. Putting to Trent Steinmark, 168 pounds. Good pass. The punt, wobbling smile toward the near corner. Landing on the two, bounding into the end zone for a touchback. 42 yard punt. with Stan McKenzie at Razorback Stadium on the University of Arkansas campus where Texas is ready to go first and ten there at their footing. Street hands it off to Wooster and Wooster bruises the Arkansas defense for four yards to the Texas 24. Dick Bumpus and Terry Don Phillips are the lads to Bulldog that steer. Bob McKay and Mike Dean open the hole. Mike Dean, a youngster who likes skin diving and water skiing. He's from Sherman, Texas. Bob McKay, a 250-pound 6'6", All-American from Spain at right tackle. Second down, six to go. Texas on his 24, the snap to Street. He takes the handoff. He pitches Bertelson, sweeping right. Bertelson to 25. Goodness through the 30, the 31-yard line. It looked as though he was going to be trapped back at the 25. And then he dipped and ripped through up to about the 31. That's the first down. Bob McKay, uh, or rather Ted Coy, went downfield for a key block. Mike Machete and Dennis Turner handling the defense for Arkansas. First and 10, Texas on its 31, 2.35 to play in third quarter. Texas down 14 to nothing. Street has it. Street running the option left. He keeps, he turns. He bounces off one of his own men, goes to his 35, to his 38-yard line. Gary Dom Phillips and Dennis Turner are the two tacklers for Arkansas. James Street on the carry. He ran the option. Texas Payne, three-way option. Street will either hand it to loose to the fullback. If he doesn't do that, he uh, options along the line for a keeper or a pitch to the trailing halfback. Split right in for Texas. Hands off to Wooster. Wooster finds a hole at right tackle over the 40, the 44-yard line. Wooster gets up slowly. He is limping, and we could actually see him grenade as he was tackled and landed on the aperture. He is limping off, favoring one of his legs. Rick Kersey and Cliff Powell were the last who grabbed Wooster. It's another first down. Wooster got it at the Texas 44. Bobby Callison comes in for Wooster. Callison is an outstanding fullback himself. Good luck to him. That's Callison with the ball, and he knifed through a hole at left tackle to about his 48-yard line. He hit hard, 186-pounder, junior from Abilene High School in Texas. Lynn Garner made the tackle. Former high school All-State, All-Southern, and All-American at Fort Smith, Arkansas. Texas 49, second and five to go. Split right in, late the third quarter, a little over a minute left. 6 2 2 1 Arkansas defense. And off to Callison, who is hit hard at the line of scrimmage. A third of real vibrating tackle by Cliff Powell. And that one was felt by all 45,000 folks. Bobby Callison hit hard for no gain. It'll be third and five. Texas up the 49 yard line of the Spears. Powell with that last tackle has played a spectacular defensive game at left linebacker for Arkansas. 4-4-3 Arkansas defense. Flip right in for Texas. Street is going to pass. He's ducking complete at the Arkansas 43 to fire, who is caught from behind and driven backward, but the forward progress will be to the Arkansas 43 for the first down, with 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dennis Turner was the lad who caught Cotton's fire. 
street with a pass, one of the Texas fly captains, who has a twin sister. At the Arkansas 43, it's Texas first to 10, trailing 14 to nothing in the dying seconds of quarter number three. Split right in, 6-2-2 on Arkansas defense. It's actually a five-man front with a linebacker up there on the front. Bobby Collison carries for the University of Texas, and he roots forward for a little bit of a gain as time runs out. Ball will be down about the Texas 42, or the Arkansas 42. That's the end of the third quarter. The score, Arkansas 14, Texas nothing. And across the way, trying to stimulate and inspire the horns who are on the rope, down 14 to nothing. And now we're ready to go back to play. Second and nine for Texas at the Arkansas 42 as we start the fourth and closing quarter. Street is back to pass. He gets a hard Arkansas run. He dodges to the 45, the Arkansas 40. Breaks the track of the 35, goes to 30 to 25. To the 20, the 15, to the 10, to the 5. And over for a Texas touchdown. James Street goes 42 yards. For a touchdown for Texas. One desperate defender, Nick Muffet, was chasing him, but he couldn't catch him. As Street ran desperately for the near corner, went in standing up. Bob McKay and Charles Fire through getaway blocks on the 42 yard touchdown dash by James Street of Texas to try for extra points. They're going to go for two. not going to try for one. It's 14 to 6. They're going to go for two. They're at the line of scrimmage on the three-yard line. Snap to three. Takes the handoff. He runs the option. He keeps. He dives for the end zone. He's there for two points. Rick Kersey of Arkansas gave it all he had. He was shaken up on the play. James Street got it in by about the length of the fixed end. And the score shows Arkansas 14 and Texas 8. How about that, Stan? Very interesting to note, Connie, that Texas has had possession of the big skin nine times today. And uh, get this field position. They've had to start 80 yards away, 80 yards away, 70, 63, 82, 80, 71, and 80 yards away. They finally pushed it across on their last possession, and they've used 55 plays today. Arkansas 37. It's a new ball game. Arkansas leads with almost a full quarter to go. Only 13 seconds of the fourth quarter are gone. Now Texas trails by only six. They came from behind against Oklahoma. They were down 14 nothing. They won 27 to 17. Happy Feller will kick off. James Patrick Feller from Fredericksburg, Texas. Here is a long kickoff by Feller, 70 yards with the tailwind. It'll be a touchback, and Arkansas will take over at its 20-yard line. Frank Rawls and Darrell Royal themselves, both collegiate stars. Their teams are doing battle this afternoon before the eyes of the sports world and one of the greatest confrontations in the entire history of football. Arkansas takes it first and 10 at his own 20 yard line. 14 minutes, 47 seconds to go until Clinton time. 45,000 clock watchers on hand here at Razorback Stadium. Arkansas has a tight left end, two running backs, a slot to the right. 6-2-2 on Texas defense. Montgomery gives it to Burnett. Burnett runs into a barricade at right tackle. He gets one yard. Big Bill Atessas was the man who gummed up the work, 257 pounds. He wears 23 pounds of pad. And that was what stopped Bill Burnett, the 189-pound sensation from Bentonville, Arkansas. for third nationally in scoring coming into today's game. He has one touchdown today. Montgomery is back to pass on second and nine. He's cool. He throws to Dykus on his own 39 to the 40. Dykus jumps at the Arkansas 41-yard line. Wrestled down by Danny Lester of the Texas anti Threat Unit in the deep secondary. Dykus with a reception. He caught nine passes against TCU earlier this year. Had uh, 33 receptions coming in through the game, and this afternoon has set the Arkansas career record. It was formerly 83 career receptions. Dykus has surpassed that. He has one touchdown catch, along with a touchdown by Burnett. First and 10, Arkansas, it's on 41. 
squat to the right toward the wide side of the field. Here's the option. And there is a pitch to the net, squeezing right, the 40. He is hit at the 43 and slowed and comes down at his own 45. Bill Burnett on the carry. Also was the man who got it. Glenn also closing the muscle gap at the 45-yard line of Arkansas. It's going to be second down. Seven yards to go for the Razorback. A frenzy crowd at Razorback Stadium. The Battle of Fayetteville. 13-25 left in the game. Arkansas leads 14-8. to eight. Don't go away. Slot to the left side. 4-4-3 four, four, defense. Overshifted toward the Arkansas slot. Montgomery runs option. He keeps turn to his own 47. Slot from behind and from the left side simultaneously by Bill Atessis and David Arledge to the end. One pursuing and one boxing. It's on the Arkansas 47. Third down. Four to go. Richardson in for Halsell at the Texas linebacker slot. 4-4-2-1 four, four, defense. Slot to the right. Quit left end Arkansas. Montgomery dropping back to pass. Back faces to his 39. Fires down the middle of the blackness. He makes it out of the 38. He's up on the Texas 35. There's a flag. There is a flag. Illegal procedure. Preliminary signal against Arkansas. And that cheer in the backdrop is from the Texas delegation. The pass was from Montgomery to Dykes. This is good. And he carried it to the Texas 35. But that one is being negated by the five-yard penalty for illegal procedure against Arkansas. Now that uh, signal covers 11 different in practice. And generally, though, is for a false start, somebody up there in the line simulating the start of a play. It'll be third down. And about nine to go for Arkansas, and it's on 42. Also comes back in from Splinterville, and Richardson goes back to the Texas bench. Also back into the game for Texas. Mark Robert is dropping back to pass. He stands in the pocket, 70 yards deep, fires down the middle, to back to his surrounded by Texas Jackers, but makes the catch and falls, going down on the Texas 37 yard line. Mike Campbell knocks him off his feet. Chuck Jackers caught that one in the crowd, as they say, literally surrounded, corralled by Longhorn, but it was on the bullseye. A perfect strike from Mr. Bill Montgomery. Mr. Cool from Carrollton, Texas, a three law student. How'd you like to have him defending you, Dick? Wow. Okay, it's on the 38-yard line of Texas. It's first and 10, Arkansas. 12-12 to go in the fourth fourth. Slot to the right for Arkansas. Montgomery sprints out right. He's looking for a receiver. He's got, he's chucked. He's got a man open down on the 25-yard line. It's, it's a John Reed who is hit immediately by Tom Campbell. Forward progress to the Texas 24. Reese was down in the right sideline area, took it on a comeback, an outside curl, and Arkansas has the first down on the Texas 24. 12 minutes to go. Score, Arkansas 14, Texas 8. First and 10, Arkansas on the Texas 24. Here comes the Razorback to the line. The crowd. Getting quiet. Montgomery wants a timeout. Montgomery wants a timeout. Timeout, Arkansas. There's a call timeout on the field of the score. Arkansas 14, Texas 8. Come in, Stan McKenzie. Just because your car is hard to start doesn't necessarily mean that you need a new battery. The battery terminals often become corroded, leading to discharge and eventual loss of power. Or the trouble could be in your battery cable. It may need replacing, but not necessarily the battery. Your ENCO dealer can prevent these problems by checking the battery cable when he checks your battery and by keeping your terminals clean and grease. Comes time when you really do need a new battery, he's the man to see for the complete Atlas line, from the dependable, economical Atlas K to the big, power-packed Atlas PhD. So good that it's guaranteed for 60 months. If starting is a problem, start down to your ENCO dealers this weekend. ENCO, where you get all the extras. It's time for a station break. And to remind you that the live action of Southwest Conference football is brought to you by Humble Oil and Refining Company and your happy motoring dealer. We pause now for station identification. This is KTRC 95 in Houston. Welcome back to the sights and sounds of 
Razorback Stadium. This is Stan McKenzie with Tommy Alexander. We're in the fourth quarter. Arkansas leads Texas 14 to 8. Back to play with Tommy Alexander. Okay, Stan, everybody's upside, and this game is out of sight, as they say. We're ready to go first and 10 on the Texas 24th Arkansas ball. Montgomery has the snap. He drops the pass. He's throwing deep, way over everybody's head. There is a flag. There is a flag thrown about the 19 yard line of Texas. Texas is going to be penalized. We're awaiting the movements of referee Carl Landis. He is penalizing Texas. He's moving it to the nine-yard line in Texas territory. Dykes was the intended receiver on the pass from Montgomery. They put the ball on the 10. So the scene of the crime was the 20. Illegal use of hands. Penalty half the distance to the goal line. Now. Dr. Lannis moves it closer to the line, so the foul occurred at the 18. The neighbors in for sidebar to the Texas defense. Arkansas first and goal to go on the nine-yard line. Montgomery calling signals. He sprints out to the right behind three blockers. He's on the 15. He's down to the 10. He cuts left. He's caught to the right knee and dropped on the seven-yard line. Score 14 to 8. Arkansas deep in Texas territory now. They push the Longhorns back to the edge of the cliff. It is second and goal to go for Arkansas. On the Texas 7, Atessas was the first man to hit the ball carrier Montgomery. Ball two came along then to finally shoot him down. It is second down, goal to go Arkansas on the Texas 7-yard line. The ball at the far hash block, Brand up and over the ball. Slots to the left to the wide side of the field, 6-5 Texas defense. Montgomery sprints out to the left toward the wide side, throwing from the 15 toward the end zone. It is incomplete, short of the intended receiver. Montgomery was knocked off his feet. Knocked down by David Arliss, a 183-pound defensive end who was putting a tremendous rush on him and forced Montgomery to throw poorly and short of the intended receiver, who was Chuck Dykin. Third down, goal to go. The Texas drums in the background. 10.49 remaining of the game. Arkansas 14 and Texas 8. And Arkansas is threatening. Texas digs in, trying to hold the fort. They have the advantage in that Arkansas is longitudinally restricted as far as passing is concerned. Flanker right, split left in. Montgomery sprints left to the wide side. Throws toward the end zone. Intercepted a yard behind the goal line. Up to the goal line to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20-yard line comes Danny Lester. Lester intercepted in his own end zone. A yard behind the goal line. Stealing it from the waiting arms of Chuck Dykus, and he ran it out to the 20-yard line of Texas. Texas takes over. Okay, we're ready for play. Texas first and 10 on its 20. The snap to three. Makes the handoff to his fullback. Runs off to left. Pitches and boy around left end. Caught on the 22. Driven out of bounds to the far side of the field. Caught in a web of tacklers. Dennis Burner and Lynn Garner. The Arkansas aficionados. 40,000. Texas, 5,000 rooters. The sun is a wall here at Razorback Stadium. It has not made an appearance today. It does not appear to be raining, but it's a misty-looking afternoon. The temperature in the 40s. President Nixon on hand. His helicopter's waiting at the end of the field. 10.32 to go. Draw play, Wooster to the 25, caught to the right knee and dumped on the Texas 26. That'll bring up third and four for Texas. Dick Bumpus was the tackler. A youngster active in the fellowship of Christian athletes. He plays the guitar and he aspires to coach. He weighs 225. The ball is on the Texas 26. It's third down, four to go. Steve Wooster, a junior from Bridge City, was the man who carried that ball. He rushed for 58 yards and 16 tries in the first half. Boy, flanks to the right. Fire splits it right in. Back to pass is Street. He looks left. He throws. Completes the special at the Texas 40. He stumbles and crash lands on his own 41-yard line. Street hitting Peschel, who bagged his 13th catch of the year. He caught one for a home run, a touchdown. First and 10 Texas on the Texas 41. Time remaining, 9.51. Randy Stout in for Bobby Mitchell. And the hog call. Here is the 
snap on first down. It's the option reverse with Spire running around right hand to the 40. He's to the 45 to the 50. Down to the Arkansas 46. He spins and carries the tackle inside the Arkansas 45 and out of bounds. That's the 44 yard line of the Razorback. Bob McKay downfield with the block. Bobby Fields, Mike Pochetti are the tacklers. The ball is caught in on the Arkansas 45, first and 10 for Texas. 9.42 to go in the game. Arkansas leading 14 to 8. Now Texas is 45 yards away from the tying touchdown, and here they come to the line of scrimmage. It's the wide backfield. The snap is the street. The handoff is the coy off left tackle. He struggles down inside the 40 to the 39-yard line of the Cardinals. Ted Coy from Belleville, 212-pound senior. Following a block of Jim Bertelson to the Arkansas 39, where Mike Machetti and Cliff Powell made the tackle. Second down, four to go. Flanker left, split right in, and Street wants the timeout. Street wants the timeout. That stops the clock with 8.42 remaining in the game. Arkansas leads 14 to 8. It is second down and four to go for Texas coming up at the Arkansas 39. A great many writers are here, many dignitaries, and uh, most of them stayed at Bella Vista, the resort about 30 miles north of Arkansas last night. And we want to thank uh, the officials and Mr. Cooper and Mr. Billingsley and Bella Vista for their great hospitality last night. Right then, we're ready to go back to action now. It is second down, four yards to go for Texas on the Arkansas 39. The ball comes 25 yards from the far side of the field with eight minutes and 42 seconds left of the game. Flanker to the left, the right end is split. And the handoff is given to Wooster, and Wooster swirls into the line. The unswervable Mr. Wooster goes to about the 38-yard line. Bruce James, Terry Don Phillips team up for the tackle. Ball on the Arkansas 38, third down and three to go. Texas is in what would probably be called four down territory. Third and three to go. To the line of scrimmage from the horn. 4-4-2-1 four, four, Arkansas defense. Moving into a five-man front just before the snap. Three has it. Three pitches out to Coy who juggles it. It bounces. He dives for it at the 42. Struggle at the Arkansas 42. Arkansas ball. Arkansas got the ball. Okay, recapping, here's what happened. Street took it. Somebody, a defender, was coming in on him, and they really bothered him. He pitched it, trying to get it away to Coy. It was McNulty who was bothering him, McNulty or Bumpus. And then as Street pitched it for Coy, he pitched it a little high. Coy juggled it. He couldn't control it. It fell to the astroturf. He sort of dribbled it once. He dived for it. Then it was recovered by either Jerry Moore or Dennis Berner. In any event, Arkansas has got it. The Arkansas 42 with eight minutes to go. Arkansas to the line, first and ten, at a zone 42. And a handoff is to Burnett, and he has hit hard. A savage tackle on the line of scrimmage by Scott Palmer, son of Darrell Palmer, former TCU All-American. Greg Flett also there with the shoulder in the Texas defense. Forward progress ruled one, uh, no game. Maybe, maybe a uh, foot or so. It'll be second down, almost ten. Arkansas, the Arkansas 42-yard line. Montgomery, Burnett, Dykus, and Maxwell in the backfield. Dykus is a slot to the left. Eight yards outside the tackle, three yards inside the split left end reach. There are two running backs. It is a 4 4 2 1 overshifted Texas defense. There goes Burnett at right tackle to his own 44. And hanging up the no vacancy sign there are Bill of Texas and Greg Flett with 7 13 remaining in the game. The clock is rolling. Texas is behind by six. Arkansas leads 14 to 8. The ball is inside the Arkansas 44. It's going to be third down and a healthy eight yards to go to the Razorbacks. The crowd is on its feet. The right end split. The left end split. 12 yards. There is a slot back. That's Dykus. Montgomery is back to pass. He slips. He's in trouble on his 35. Down he goes in one of Darrell's royal receptions at the 36-yard line in Arkansas territory. Bill Atessis and David Arledge on the tackle. And they made a quarterback sandwich at the 36-yard line of Arkansas. And that's going to be fourth down coming at 16 to go for the Razorback. 6.29 remaining in the game. Fire goes back. Fire will be the run back man. Stockdale is going to have to punt it to him. 
into a headwind. About six or eight miles per hour, it'll detain the ball a little. Helmet high snap, hard rush. Floating kick, coming down as fire. Fair catch, he's got it at his 35. Fair catch by Cotton Fire of Texas around the Texas 35 or 6. Let's see where they pinpoint the big skin. On the 36 yard line, Texas territory. Six minutes, 10 seconds remaining. That was a 28 yard kick by Stockwell. Texas to the line. 64 yards away from the tying touchdown. Six and a half minutes to go. Street has the pass. She gives it to Coy on the inside belly left. He is swarmed at the line of scrimmage. Gives the second effort to about his 38-yard line. Ted Coy on the tackle, rushed 601 yards last year. Steve Birdwell is now in at Monster Band for Bobby Field of Arkansas. And Birdwell made the tackle. Stop him off from Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Was an outstanding high school sprinter for Texas. Second down, nine at the Texas 37. Street has his trap. He gets it to his fullback, Wooster. And Wooster battles over right tackle outside the 40 to the 42. And then it swirls backwards by Dick Bumpus and Chris Powell. Five and a half minutes remaining. Arkansas 14, Texas 8. Texas ranked number one of the nation. Arkansas is ranked number two. It is third down for Texas. Five yards, about four yards to go. The line to gain is the 46. It's about the 42. It's third and four. This is a big play. Hold on. The signal, the staff. Wooster at left tackle. Wooster to the 43, perhaps the 44. He did not get the first down. Wooster did not get the first down with 4.56 to go and the clock ticking. Dick Bumpus collided with Wooster first. Mike Machetti and Lynn Garner then came along to finally send him earthward. And Texas lost the timeout. James Street, the Texas quarterback, is going over to the far sideline. We'll put the binoculars on this and see if we can try to determine what Street's doing. He's talking with Darrell Law. 447 left in the game. The ball on the Texas 44 yard line, just inches inside the 44. They must go to the 46 yard line in order to achieve the first down. So it is fourth down, two yards to go for Texas, and here's the hog call. The Arkansas hog call, and will that be the death knell for the championship hope for Texas? 447 left on the clock. Arkansas 14 and Texas 8. Street finishes his conference at the sideline. Put yourself in the shoes of Darrell Royal. James Street is fourth down, two to go. 447 to play. You're behind by six points. Playing for the national championship. What would you do? Texas is huddling. And we'll see what their decision is in just a moment. They're huddling so long, they're surely not going to punt. Here they are on the line of scrimmage. They're going to go for all the marbles. Good right in. Reed has it. Fakes the handoff. He's going to pass. He's throwing the bomb. He's looking for Peschel. Peschel has it. Peschel is down on the 13-yard line of Arkansas. How oh, about that one? calling the signals. Street gives it to the second man, Coy, at left tackle. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. He wiggles to the 2-yard line. Coy down to the 2. When Mike Machetti saves the day for the Arkansas defense. Now let's paint the picture for you. 4 minutes, 17 seconds to go. The clock stopped on the first down. It'll start as soon as the ball is ready for play. Arkansas leads 14 to 8. They're ahead by 6. 
But now Texas has an opportunity to get in there. They're on the two-yard line. First down and goal to go. First goal to go. Texas on the Arkansas two. Six-five Arkansas defense. Hand off to Bertelson. Bertelson up the middle. He's going, going. He's gone for the touchdown. Gentlemen, that ties it up at Arkansas 14 and Texas 14. Now, here comes Happy Feller, the Texas place kicker. His record this year, 42 out of 44. He had a long string before getting it broken. If he makes this one, he'll not only put his team ahead, but he will break the conference record for total extra points in a season. Wigginson will hold. The wind is not much of a factor. It's 5, 14, and 14. The linemen are down there. Here's the staff. It's on the tee. It's off the toe. Bingo! It's Texas 15, Arkansas 14. Here's Dan McKenzie. Tony, that drive went 64 yards. It took six plays. Of course, the big bomb, as you described it, 45 yards of pass from James Street on a fourth and two situation. Now, this is the situation. There's three minutes, 58 seconds remaining. Texas leads by one point, 15 to 14. The Hogs will have the football, and it's anybody's ball game. Back to you, Connie. Three minutes and 58 seconds to go in the game. Now you remember Stan in 1965, when Texas was down by about three touchdowns. They came from behind. They moved ahead in the closing minutes. Then Arkansas came from behind to win 27 to 24 right on this gridiron. Here's the kickoff by Filler, and he powers it deep, deep, deep over the shoulder of Burnett, 65 yards away off Burnett's fingers for a touchback. So, 3.58 to go. Arkansas 14, about Texas 15, after Arkansas enjoyed the lead. Let's try to get a look at Darrell Roy. I can just single him out on the sideline. I can't see him. Frank Royals on the near side with his hands in his pockets, looking down at the moment. Now he looks up to his offense, which is huddling on the 10th. 358 to go. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. 15 to 14, Texas lead. Good left in, good right in, flank of the right, two running backs, Montgomery back to pass. He jumps, completes the Vikings on the 26. He's hit immediately by Henderson and drops on the 25 of Arkansas. Montgomery chunking the Vikings. Dykes has made the American Football Coaches Association All-Star squad this year. An honorable mention All-American is a junior from Garland, Texas. He was down on the Arkansas 25. It'll be second and five. Richardson in for Hallsville in the Texas defense. Montgomery is back to pass. Stands on his own 17. Fires it up the middle. It is dropped by Pat Morrison on a hook at the 33-yard line. Morrison had to leap a little. 220 pounders. It's about 17 this season. Three for touchdown. That stops the clock with 3.25 remaining in the game. That brings up third down and five to go for Arkansas. Texas leads 15 to 14. Texas 15 to 14. 3.25 to go. Here's third down and five. This is a critical try. Texas is digging in. Fortifying its defense now. Arkansas to the line. They're putting their left in. They're flankering to the right. Montgomery is back to pass. He's got complete to Dykes on a delay, completed for 29, but he is driven back to the 26. He did not get the first down. He was hit at the 29 and a half, one half yard away from the first down by Scott Henderson. He really jolted him. 3.05 to go, fourth down, a half a yard to go for Arkansas with three minutes left in the game. Arkansas, fourth down, half a yard to go. The Arkansas 29 and a half yard line. They've got to go to the 30. Here they come in a running formation. 252 left. And timeout is being called by Texas now. It's a Texas timeout. Two minutes and 51 seconds to go. Texas leading 15 to 14. I'd like to take just a moment to express our thanks to all the sports information directors who've helped us so much this fall. Bill Morgan, the information director for the Southwest Conference, to Jones Ramsey and Bill Little of Texas, Jim Bell of Arkansas, assistant athletic director Jim Brock of SMU, Jim Garner, TCU, Speck Gavin of Texas A&M, Ralph Carpenter, Texas Tech, Bill Whitmore of Rice, and David K. Wood, who has just moved from Baylor to SMU this week. 
And our deepest gratitude to a fine group of spotters, Bobby Irmo for Texas, Bill Lavender of Arkansas, Dave Yaggy, SNU, Randy Warren, TCU, George Cox, Texas Tech, Bill Beal, Baylor, Harvey Eisenbeck, A&M, and Mike Malone of Rice. And I think we ought to plug our All-American engineers, Dick Week, Buddy Cruz, Charlie Bowles, Delvis Clark, O.B. Johnson, and Don O'Five, just some of the people who've been a part of this 36th year of the Humble Football Network, the world's oldest radio series. And what a thrill it is to be speaking to our servicemen and their dependents around the world today and to our special network this afternoon in Alaska. Ready to go. Fourth down half a yard. Arkansas to the line of scrimmage. Here's a snap. And Burnett dives at left guard, and I think he got the first down. Looks like he got it by about a half a yard. He sailed over the 30. That was the line of the game. First down. Okay, two minutes and 47 seconds to go. Now the clock starts again as the ball is made ready for play after the first down where Glenn Halsell and David Arvitz made the tackle. It's just the inside of 31. It's a 30 and a half. We'll call it the Arkansas 31. Montgomery is back to pass. Stands on his own 22. Fires into the left flat to Burnett. Completed to 39 out of bounds at his own 40. Burnett on a play action delay pattern. Off into the left flat. Toward the near sideline. Stopping the clock with 2.29 to go. The game was... Nine yards. Let's see where they bring the ball in. Texas leads 15 to 14. Two and a half minutes to go. They are putting the ball squarely on the 40-yard line of Arkansas. The second down coming half a yard to go. Time is of the essence. Two minutes and 29 seconds to play in the game. The green starts closing in on Arkansas. Slot to the right. Option run to the right by Montgomery, and he gets his first down. As he pulls up to about the 42, maybe he's on 43. Bill Atessis on the tackle. And Montgomery is putting his left shoe back on. The ball is on the 42 and a half yard line of Arkansas. Two minutes, 25 seconds to go. First from 10 for the race back. Now the clock starts, 2.22 remaining. And a timeout is called by Arkansas's Montgomery as he is having to put his, uh, make an adjustment on his right shoe. That stops the clock with two minutes, 21 seconds to go. Umbrella. Bring out like uh, leaves in a yard, across the way, 45,000 spectators here. Arkansas breaking out the huddle now. 221 to go. Flanker right, split left in. Montgomery gives it on the draw to Maxwell, and Maxwell is caught. At the 42 and lunges forward to about his 44. Scott Henderson, a Perry Mason of the Pro Late Spiro, had analyzed that draw play and made the tackle at the 44 yard line of the Razorbacks. It'll be second down and about eight and a half to go. Between eight and nine yards to go, two minutes remaining of the game. Texas leading 15 to 14. Flanker right, split left in. But Calvary back pedal to 35 to pass. He reads the coverage. He fires to the left side, and Burnett catches it at the near side line and goes out of bounds to the Texas 46 yard line. Can they get into field goal range? Burnett caught the pass. And they're bringing it in on the Texas 46. Now McClard, their field goal kicker, let me have McClard check. McClard, their field goal kicker, has kicked one 56 yards in high school. Arkansas moving into the win. A minute 51 to go. The ball on the 46 yard line of Texas. Texas leads by one point. Slot to the right. Four man front. Montgomery back to pass. He fires to the left side. Burnett has that sideline pass again. He makes the catch of the 39. He does not get out of bounds. He is dumped by Bill Zapilak, who sends him earthward at the Texas 39. A minute 37, the clock rolling. A minute 35. It is second down coming for Arkansas. About three yards to go up to Texas 39. A minute 28. Texas leads 15-14. A minute 25 to play. Slot to the right side. Montgomery wants the timeout. He simply turns, signals timeout, and starts walking over coach, uh, toward Coach uh, Frank Broyles at the near sideline. And Montgomery is conferring with one of the Arkansas assistants who is on the phone up to the press box. We, we saw the coaches from the two teams come back to the dressing room up here to the press box where they scout. And you should have seen the tension that gripped their faces as they came back for the second half. A minute 22 remaining in the game. It's Texas 15 and Arkansas 14. And it's going to be 
Second down coming for Arkansas. The Texas 39. They must go three yards to the Texas 36 for the first down. From Phoenix, Fayetteville, Arkansas. 30 miles from Oklahoma. 40 miles from Missouri. And in an ocean of frenzy. This is Scotty Alexander with Sam McKenzie at one of the greatest confrontations in the 100-year history of college football. Offensive line coach Herb Johnson was the man with whom Mr. Montgomery was conferring. Now we're about ready to go back to play. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. Slot to the right on second and three at the Texas 39. It's Arkansas's ball. Montgomery sprints out to the right on a run pass option. He fires down to the 20-yard line. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Texas. Tom Campbell makes the interception at the far sideline at the Texas 22. And Dykus, the intended receiver, was sitting just in bounds with his head hanging, looking down at the action The interception by Tom Campbell. And that will give the ball to Texas at the 22-yard line in Texas territory with a minute 13 to go as Campbell makes his sixth interception of the year. He was the lad who was the outstanding defensive player in the Cotton Bowl game against Tennessee last year. And with that interception, he may have sealed the big to the Cotton Bowl against Notre Dame. Next to the line, first and ten. Hand off to Wooster, left guard. He fights to the 23-yard line. Now we'll watch that clock, a minute seven, a minute six. Texas must go to its own 32 for another first down. Credit the tackle to Machete and Bumpus. The ball is just inside the Texas 23. So it is second down coming. Nine yards to go. The clock is rolling. 49 seconds. Texas taking lots of time in the huddle. 45 seconds. Texas to the line of scrimmage. They split their right in. Arkansas. Atlantic now. Quarterback sneak by three. Straight ahead over the 25. Plows to the 29 yard line. 34 seconds. The clock is rolling. It'll be third down coming. The ball on the 29 of Texas. 25 seconds to go. Tackled by the firm of Thompson, Phillips, James, Garner, Bichetti, Powell, and McNulty. The ball on the Texas 29, a little closer to the 30. Third down, a couple to go. 14 seconds remaining. Texas in the huddle. Third down. Arkansas's hopes are dying. The new Titans around the Arkansas next. Now here is a timeout call by one of the... Uh, the referee, he wanted something thrown off the field. Six seconds remaining of the game. This should be the last play of the game. Six seconds, three seconds. The clock is ticking. And time runs out before the snap. And that is the end of the game with the final score. Texas 15, Arkansas 14. Connie Alexander with Stan McKenzie at Razorback Stadium where Arkansas has just lost to the University of Texas by a final score of 15 to 14 in front of the President of the United States, an overflow crowd of 45,000. We have just watched the two coaches, Frank Royals and Darrell Royal, as Frank has congratulated Darrell, and then Frank Royal walked off the field with his twin daughters walking along either side of him, consoling him as he went toward the Arkansas dressing room the victorious Daryl Royal and the Longhorns, who now have an inside track for the national championship, have retired to their dressing room, and many of the 45,000 spectators stand stunned here in Arkansas as they saw their home team go ahead 14 to nothing, and then fall behind to defeat 15 to 14 at the hands of Texas. We'll have more remarks a little later, but here's Sam McKenzie. Well, the tower on the 40 acres at Austin will be bathed in orange tonight as Longhorn fans throughout the world celebrate the 15th time in history the Texas has won our share to Southwest Conference Championship. It's the seventh perfect season record for Texas, and the victory today over Arkansas extends Texas' win streak to 19, the longest in Longhorn football history. Today's victory places Texas in the host role on New Year's Day in the Cotton Bowl, and puts their claim for number one national ranking squarely on the line as they face Notre Dame.
Mr. President? Oh, hi. How are you? Can we get Daryl up here? I know you have a presentation to make. James Street is here. Coy. Daryl? Coach? Here he comes. You chose yourself a football game to attend, didn't you? One of the... Well, one of, the, one of the great games of all time, without question. And uh, I was up in the booth, the ABC booth, uh, at halftime, and incidentally, I got to brag a little. I, they asked me what was going to happen the second half, said both teams were going to score. But that I thought that uh, what would really determine the second half would be whether Texas had the ability in the fourth quarter to come through. And you did. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, hey, how, how do you feel? All right. I'm, I've got to be the happiest guy in America tonight. I just want to say this uh, in presenting the plaque. In presenting this plaque, I, I want to say first that the, the AP and the UPI will name Texas number one, as we know, uh, after this game. And uh, this is a great honor in the 100th year of football. I also want to say that having seen this game, what convinced me that Texas deserves that is the fact that you want a tough one for a team to be behind 14 to nothing and then not to lose its cool and to go on to win. That proves you deserve to be number one, and that's what you are. <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's a great thrill. It's a great thrill for us to win the football game, but the big thrill, uh, I know I speak for all of our squad, is for the President of the United States to take time to endorse college football and to honor you with our, your presence in our locker room. This is a big moment in all of our lives, and uh, I'm speaking for the coaching staff and all the players. I, I watch. I want all of you to know that we didn't make up the plaque in advance. It doesn't say what team, and I'm taking it back to Washington and put in Texas. <laughs>